I was reminded once again that what gets measured gets managed. And if you don't have metrics alignment with your team, they can end up at cross purposes. In the airline industry, gate agents are measured against on-time performance. I don't know what flight attendants are measured on, but it's not on-time performance. This disconnect was evident on a recent flight I took. As I was boarding the plane, the purser, that would be the lead flight attendant, was clearly in need of asserting his authority over the gate agent. The purser reminded the gate agent that he was the purser on the flight. He was doing this by reprimanding the gate agent for allowing coach class passengers to board the plane before the purser had granted permission for them to do so. The fact that this reprimand was going on in public is a whole different conversation. The purser also noted that he had graciously allowed the first class passengers to board the plane before it was completely cleaned. He was pointing out that the gate agent had clearly overstepped his bounds by allowing coach passengers to board prior to gaining permission from the purser. Such behavior was not to be tolerated and the gate agent needed to know that, even though the cleaners had left the plane before any coach passengers had boarded. I understand the issue involved with making it difficult to finish cleaning the plane if you let the passengers board while the cleaners are still on the plane. But that wasn't the issue in this case because the cleaners had already left the plane. What caused this problem? The gauge agent was focused on his metric, getting the plane out on time. The flight attendant, who's not measured on on-time performance, had no empathy for that particular metric. Results teammates at odds due to differing performance metrics. Are your people focused on different metrics, which may in fact be causing conflict between them? How does this impact your customers? And what is it doing for employee morale?